while Chinese-led security patrols are keeping boats safe from criminal activity. Here in northern Thailand, a new port has been built to develop Mekong trade. Paperwork has been simplified and deep water ensures vessels can navigate safely. Chinese cargo vessel 609 arrives at Chang Sen port in the Thai province of Chiang Rai. She's brought apples, pears and pomegranates from the southern Chinese port of Guan Lei, destined for the Thai market. Later, she's reloaded for the 265-kilometer return voyage. The boat has refrigerated holds to carry a cargo of frozen chicken. Her Chinese captain says the new facilities at Chang Sen make the turnaround much smoother. In Thai, the Mekong's original name was Mei Nam Kong, meaning mother of rivers, a bringer of food and sustenance. And that's a role it continues to play today, whether it's providing power from hydroelectric dams, water to irrigate the rice fields, fish to feed those who live alongside its banks, or passage for boats carrying goods from one country to another. China and three of her neighbors, Thailand, Laos and Myanmar, signed a joint agreement to develop trade along the Mekong's upper reaches. The Lankang Mekong deal ensures the passage of vessels, simplifies customs procedures and provides fuel and facilities. It was also the stimulus for the building of Chang Sen port in 2012. All four countries are working together to operate the port. We're busy and it's also creating jobs in each country supporting the boat operations. We're working to lower tax rates and increase import quotas, which would see trade grow more. In the past, low rainfall has seen river levels drop to a point where boats could no longer proceed. But now China opens up its Mekong dams to send millions of gallons of water flowing to its southern partners. As well as providing irrigation for crop growing, the aim is to ensure the river is always deep enough for vessels to pass. Surveys are also taking place to identify submerged rocks and obstructions which might hinder navigation. While some have raised concerns about development affecting the Mekong's natural flow, others say structures such as dams play an essential role in flood and drought management. Trying to strike a balance that satisfies everyone is one of the biggest challenges facing the countries which share this river. Chang Sen, a cooperation between China, Thailand, Laos and Myanmar is a practical example of the kind of Mekong water diplomacy that is helping to improve ties between nations and promote the flow of commerce. The port's an important trading crossroads and gateway to the greater Mekong sub-region. China exports fruit via Shenzhen to Thailand and imports computer parts and foodstuffs. Thailand exports rice, rubber and sugar to Laos and Myanmar. There is a better understanding between Mekong countries now, particularly here in Thailand. On every issue, there will be different opinions, but the way to solve that is by having discussions that involve all of the parties. In this way, we can develop the river for the benefit of all countries. Sailing is restricted to daylight hours for boat security and safety of navigation, making the port a hive of activity whenever a vessel is ready for loading or unloading. At peak times, they can turn around 10 boats in a day. As a result of improvements that have been made here, boats of up to 500 tons can now operate on this stretch of river, making costs for bulk cargo much cheaper than road transport. Martin Lowe, CGTN, on the Mekong River.